Hi there, welcome to the channel. Subscribe if you're new here or if you're coming back for the second or third time. Help me reach 5,000 quickly within this week and help me reach 6,000 subscribers by the end of March. Um, yes, it's an interesting conversation. It's an exciting conversation. Of course, the moment we heard that Nikon bought out Red, we knew that, first of all, we were all anticipating, we were all expecting Nikon to show us more technology very quickly and not make us wait for two, three years to see the technology trickle down to the Nikon cameras, of course. I'm sure users in both camps, both in Nikon and RED camps, actually want to see cross-pollination happen very quickly and fairly quickly. And I expect to see that, but I didn't expect that we're going to hear anything like this. Now, of course, this is still a rumor. This is still a rumor that the Z6 III could have some technologies from the red cameras we don't know exactly what kind of technology but of course the red is a cinema camera manufacturer so of course you know if it kind of takes anything from red what kind of stuff it's going to be but before i get into the there's there's not much detail to talk about of course but before i get to discussing that i want to talk about a couple of things Adobe apparently just mentioned that they will no longer make upgrades in the software for the Nikon NRAW because, you know, they're anticipating NRAW to change or, or they're anticipating Nikon to actually push red uh, RAW codecs. Now, if not that, then red at least probably would like to hear some information from Nikon or red to understand whether they should spend their time and energy to actually tweak their soft, develop the softwares to accommodate NRAW or should they just wait for whatever Nikon is developing next uh, or working on next together with RED. But I think that's a very good indication that Adobe has taken note of this um, movement and they understand that it's got implications on what they do as well. We're also hearing something very obvious that Nikon NRAW may actually become red raw i mean of course that that makes total sense it's just that we don't know when that's going to become red raw whether n raw and red raw will stay parallelly and they're going to read sensor data and present sensor data slightly differently and they're going to carry slightly different types of color um, coming out of the camera i guess none of us would like to see the nikon colors go from nikon's video and i for one would definitely like to see nraw continue its own color science but at the same time i would like to see red draw as an option so i don't know how soon that's going to happen but it is quite possible that uh, they may be able to push it as an update or maybe not they may need to actually do a different camera in order to actually push put in the the red raw and the red color science possibly as an option I'll elaborate on that in a later video. But yes, that is one thing that I'm expecting to happen quite soon in the Nikon bodies. Also, apparently Nikon will slowly introduce the new red formats, the menu settings and all that. I think um, a lot of filmmakers today, when they look at the Z9 and the Z8, they say this is a, these are fantastic and powerful video cameras. But we possibly will do well to have more video centric layouts. Uh, cinema centric layouts both of course the hardware the body but more importantly the software because the Nikon cameras are hybrid cameras but what you can definitely change is the layout of the menu settings and all that so if Nikon now slowly introduces those uh, red formats and video codecs and recording options and features to the Nikon bodies the question is is it going to find its way to the Z9 or Z8 or are you going to see that first with, with the Z6 III and then possibly in the second iteration of the Z9. We have seen that Nikon pushed the firmware version 5 just recently for the Z9. And that means that's a massive firmware that Nikon has already fired. We don't know whether we're going to see all these things integrated to the Z9 because that would mean it's going to have be a firmware version 6. A lot of people say that this is probably the last major firmware update from Nikon for the Z9. I don't know because we heard about uh, a lot of cinema feature as firmware updates last year. I don't know when that's going to happen or was it about a new camera where Nikon is going to first for the first time introduce a lot of cinema features and of course uh, 
in the background this was happening and at at that point about a couple of months back we didn't know that the red nikon thing was happening in the background so maybe we heard what we heard because this was cooking in the background and possibly we're going to actually see that first in the nikon z63 um we are also hearing which is very obvious that the new nikon sensors going forward will be code developed by red and mass produced for low prices and low prices is the more important piece of rumor right now because this fundamentally means that you're going to see cinema capabilities in uh you know slightly more accessible bodies like the Z8 Z63 possibly even Z9 version 2 and not have to just get the red cinema cameras at 10000 US dollars or 15 or 30000 US dollars to get access to those sort of um specifications and sensors and color signs so that's very exciting and we're also hearing that Nikon will start making cinema lenses now that is amazing if Nikon starts making cinema lenses we already know um imagine the knock the 58f 0.95 that lens is already a fantastic cinema, cinema lens it's just that in terms of how it is built the hardware probably needs to be optimized for cinema usage um but it's got such amazing uh quality build uh, accuracy of focus all no focus breathing uh, it's an amazing lens nikon rima says that we are going to see some announcement in the upcoming 2024 nab show next month uh and it may have something to do with the red nikon collaboration or nikon owning red but at the same time we might just see an announcement of the z63 and if that happens that announcement will have something to do with the red acquisition now that is very exciting are we going to see nikon take baby steps to integrate to start their journey with some of the red experience some of the red technologies uh and begin their journey with the z63 will we see nikon sort of do a prototype of their whole this adventure of trying to use red technology integrate some of that learning and knowledge into their hybrid bodies it has to start somewhere we need to have a uh, maybe a low cost failure if it's going to be you know nikon is going to try it for the first time and if if you're going to try it for the first time it is better to try that with the z63 because at that price point you're not expected to be the top of the world the best in the world but if you're launching a z9 version 2 let's say next year and you're putting in a lot of red technology cinema technology in that body you're expected to have a certain level of finish finish and finesse a certain level of, level of completeness um which maybe you won't expect from a Z63 it makes so much sense for Nikon to try this integration out technology wise in the Z63 because this is only going to have upsides people are only going to get delighted they are not going to have expectations set here because it is a 2 and a half thousand 2000 US dollars camera. So I think it's a great strategy. It would be a great strategy for Nikon to treat the Z63 as a test bed as a technology demonstration of how they can actually take some of the key things from Nikon from Red and integrate them in their hybrid camera bodies. And that may just also compel a lot of users from other systems to quickly switch to Nikon because that gives them a promise of what's to come next it also gives them a very low cost not very low cost but a decent well priced entry level camera to try this whole thing with i mean you're not asking them to spend 5500 US dollars and buy a Z9 you're asking them to buy something like a 2000 US dollars camera and then see what, how the feature looks like and be excited about it and probably build your confidence to try out the Nikon system for whatever you are doing i am going to see you soon with another video soon